Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll share how to find emails in Gmail by date or date range. Let's get straight into it. From time to time, you may need to find an email based on the date that was received by you. Gmail offers a number of ways to search for emails and refine your search to help narrow down the results. In this guide, I'll show you how to use Gmail's search filter to make simple searches. And in the second part of the guide, we'll look at how to use search keywords in the search bar to refine and narrow your search. So I'm logged into Google and in the Gmail inbox. To search for an email, we can use Gmail's search filter feature. To access this, I'll move my mouse to the Gmail search bar and I'll click on the search options icon to open the detailed filter panel. The search filter contains a number of options that can be used to narrow down your search results, but the one we're interested in to find an email by date is the date within row. Let's click into the calendar in that section and you'll see a date picker appears. Now if you know the specific date when you received an email, it's easy to display only the emails you received on that day. To do that, choose the specific date in the calendar and that is then displayed in the date row. You'll notice it is displayed in the format of year first followed by month then followed by day of month. Although it might look a little odd, Gmail displays all dates in this format. To run that search, all we do is click on the large blue search button. The results are then returned, showing the emails received on the chosen date, as well as the emails received on the days either side. Sometimes you may not know the specific date an email is received on, but you can still search across a date range. To do that, let's click back into our search emails by clicking on the search filter icon and we can increase the date range by moving the mouse pointer to the date within option currently set for one day. And we can widen that to a week, a month, or even a year. Let's choose a month long date range and we'll search on that. You'll see that now a large number of emails are returned, too many to be useful for a search. Let's now move on to the second part of the guide and we'll look at how to refine those search results down using search keywords. If we turn our attention to the search bar, you'll see that it already has a number of search keywords added based on the filter we applied previously. These simply specify the date range for the emails returned. They should be after the 1st of September 2021, but before the 2nd of November. I'll now add some powerful search keywords that will help to narrow down our search results significantly. I can add my own keywords by clicking into the search bar, and I'll start by adding a space after the last entry. I'll narrow down the search by adding some details of who the email was sent from. I add this keyword by typing from, followed by a colon, and then the name of an email sender. This doesn't have to be a specific email address. It can even be their first or last name. If I press return, the emails sent by timeout in that period are displayed. Next, I'll narrow the search by the title of the email. To enter this keyword, I type subject, followed by a colon and I'll type one of the words I remember from the email title. If I press return on that, a single email is returned. You don't need to add all the words in an email title, just one or two will be fine. The last way to refine a search that I'll share is less specific than the first two, but it is useful if you only remember one or two words used in an email. No need to add a keyword this time, just type the word or words you remember from the email. This is a bit of a shotgun approach but can be effective if you can't remember many details about the email. A couple of words of warning when using this approach. Make sure your keywords are spelled correctly, as no alternative spellings of words are searched. Also, when you search in this way, every part of the email is searched. The sender's name, the subject, the main content of the email. So think carefully about the words you use to help narrow down the search. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learn something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching.